the back of this top up. Hi there, welcome to Grey's Outdoors. My name is Grey's and this is my mate Andre. Hi, mate. Give us a shot. Yeah. Uh, we're out in the woodland today and we're doing a bit of a wildish camp. Um, it's, it's actually a scout campsite which we got permission to go into. So this is our, our campsite to just to show you. We're going super luxury today with two fantastic chairs. We've got a top set up and we're going to put two sleeping systems under there. And I think it's time to get a fire going. So we'll come back to you as soon as that's going. So we got the fire going. Must be honest, there was a bit of a cheat there. We used the ferrosium rod and a bit of toilet paper. But it doesn't only have one use. Yeah. Cold, cold, yeah. So maybe that's why they leave it, huh? Yeah, so we'll get a nice ale in front in a, in a while. <laughs> I just found out in Andre's bag that he's got this amazing double hammock from Ticket to the Moon. Looks really nice. And he says he got given it, but actually Graham thinks I took it from him. <laughs> mine's a red one. I can't remember giving it to him. We'll have to get him up between the trees at some time. So seeing as I'm not doing any hiking, I thought I'd bring with some of the goodies and we might get some bread on in a while. So I was introduced to this the other day from Ben from London Outdoors, so I thought I'd buy one from my other mate Andre and I think we're going to crack open a Camden Pale Ale. Not just a gimmick, eh? Not just a gimmick. Ready? One, two, three. I'm going to try and make some bannock bread. I've popped some mixture in the bag and we're going to try and make it in the bag. Andre has volunteered to do a bit of mixing. Heavy lifting. So, yeah. <laughs> heavy lifting. So this is how you make bannock bread. You get your mates to do it and you drink the beer. So here's our mixture, a little bit wet, uh, but we'll give it a try anyway. So we've got it facing the fire and hopefully it's going to cook before it slides <laughs> off the pan and into the ash. <laughs> anyway, we'll give it a couple of minutes and see what happens. Yeah, it does, it does look like it's browning. So we think it's nearly ready. I have burnt it a little bit on the underside, but the top side looks all right. So they say the testing is in the eating. It's actually all right. It's a salty it. cinnamon. Need some raisins in it. You got cinnamon in it. Yeah, put cinnamon in. So as you can see, cooked inside. A little bit of black on the one side for character. But actually, alright, need some butter. Which we don't have. So overall I think the bannock was a kind of so-so. I'll try it out a few more times and see if I can perfect it a bit better before handing the bannock recipe over to you guys. Watch the space and we'll get it over to you at some stage.
we've got a rump on the left, ribeye on the right, and for vegetables, we're having beans and sausages. <laughs> See if we can get this going. Bingo, I think we have fire. So morning guys, 7.30 now and I think coffee's on its way. It was a good night last night, must have dropped down to about 12 degrees but it was pretty warm. No cold wind or anything. Lovely evening. So there's our setup, as you can see it. It's just a little bit of a lean to, we pulled out the back so we could have a bit more space. Just popped it on a little stick. That's a DD 3x3 top and I've got the ridge line coming through here. It's a little overhang. Time for some coffee. Yeah, that's all right. So we're going to get the bacon on, but just in case anyone's interested, this is a cast iron pan. It's a Victoria. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, there you are. Maybe that's better. Victoria 12 inch. Uh, my wife bought this for me a couple of years ago and it's been really great. And the reason it I really like it is because it's got a really long handle and most of the skillets have quite a short handle so it's yeah been very happy with this got a little silicon handle cover from Amazon because cast iron conducts heat very well which means the handle gets really hot That looks very good. So that's it, we've uh, finished up. We left it as we found it. There is a little fireplace here set for the next campers. Andre, thank you very much that was really for, for joining you. me. It was great to have company and um, yeah, taking our things and going. So thanks very much for joining us and we'll catch up with you next time. God bless. You.
But you have to admit, I already do Let's just break it down To you and me uptown Dancing all around Till the disco ball pops But I have to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you 